It's got to be. Something had to have come loose. Let's, let's tip it the other way. Now it's not clicking. Let's see if it'll let's see if it'll go. No. Nope. So I, I gotta take this apart. I don't know what this thing is. Oh yeah, when you lift up on that, when you lift up on that, it engages. Maybe something is dirty on this leather. That's what engages the motor. Yeah. So something must be binding. This side off with a 14 millimeter. The teeth look okay. Gotta try the other side. Alright, so I'm gonna try taking this off. And then of course this wheel has to come off on both on both sides. Superman! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Cheating! Cheating! I'm cheating! Alright, so I'll do that. Alright. So taking... Taking that out. This off of this loosens up this whole section here, loosens this all up. But these removed now, we can lift this up out. Of course, now we got the wiring. And remember, when you take when you take when you take this off, there's now nothing holding this. So, when you try to if you take this, you take that off before removing the bolts on the tires this is just going to do this when you go to turn to take the tire off it's just going to just going to twist like this so take the bolts take the tires off first and then in here a little you got that little bearing there that slides into the the those the other side of those gears and it lets them spin and, and slam into place so we have another c clip there but we're not worried about that. We're worried about what's wrong with this motor. So now I gotta turn this thing back on its side so I don't rip the wiring out in there. Okay, so I had to take off these screws and then you can lift this up and see this. You have to disconnect this.
and then I don't know if it's keyed. Well, you can see red to red, black, black. I think you have to lift that up to get this motor to fall out because the wires are holding it. All right, so I was seeing it off. It's not the wires holding it. It is that cable. You see the cable is down. Wires up above. Behind the red and black cable, that cable is what is holding this. Pulling out. Okay, so what do I do about that? <sighs> I'm gonna guess that, that that cable is why this thing is slipping out of gear. Because that is pulling something, and I noticed that, that it pulls this, it pulls this lever, this lever engages the gears. Tried to turn. Oh, it's here. Damn it. No, it's not in gear. No. Now you get the click in. Now it's in gear. So that's something to do with that. I bet you the cable needs to be tightened or something. So I'm pretty sure I see what the fault is. As you see, uh, I gotta do it with this one. This is this is annoying. Right, watch it, watch it with this one. You'll see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's my damn holder? As I bend this, this thing is now flexing, and that's a thing that needs to push that button. Watch. Can you see the plastic is flexing? And that's what's supposed to be pulling up on that cable. I think that's what the issue is. And that cable engages the motor. <sighs> this turns on the motor, this engages the motor. As you see, there's no adjustment, and what happens when this thing snaps? That's all flexible. What are you going to do? Alright. So I do recall before that started happening, one of these sides had loosened. And that will shorten the distance of the wire. So you need to make sure that this is completely pulled up. I mean, there's a certain distance, or if it's loosened, it won't turn on but also you need to increase this distance and this is the wire coming in through here it's both wires and if you just do till it clicks you have not pulled that wire all the way so there's a couple things you could do you could put a you could put something on here to tighten it like this remember there's also electrical wires going through there but you could tighten it like this with a wire tie or something and that'll that'll let the thing in gear so i'm going to try that next time it happens next time it happens i'm going to try i'm going to try squeezing a little closer in here a little closer in here but remember eventually that's going to break because that thing is starting to do this or this and then you'll have to just put pressure there but also make sure your beam is all the way extended it was actually this side that was loose when this started happening Alright, so let me show you how this stupid system up here works. 
Now, if you just do this and turn it on, you hear that? The motor is not touching. Now, I can squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it the rest of the way, and we got it. If I put it to here, let me let me do it on low. Just clicking. Now watch. Tighten the cable. So the whole thing is, you gotta have this extended all the way out. This has to be all the way in. And as it gets older, that lever that's in there is plastic and it's starting to bend and making this looser. So you're gonna have to do things like, like, you know, wire tie here, wire tie here. You know, wire tie, wire tie, cause that makes this, it makes it a tighter, makes it a tighter thing so like if I hold it as soon as that turns on it's gonna go oh I'm sorry I gotta get this on or if I just get it to click and like this you know we're doing that now my thing wasn't doing this before me taking it apart made it even looser probably because this even bent more but that's something to know Make sure you're, first to make sure, you, well, the, the particular noise you're hearing. Ah, oh, you stupid bug. Make sure your, your gears in each tire aren't, aren't stripped first. And then the next, you know, or you could just test this. And that much is that. That's kind of ridiculous, but the way she goes, the way of the road. <laughs>